Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to, how to install a water filter in the Keurig K Duo Express. This model is only available at Walmart. It does a K cup and brews a pot of coffee. Now what you're going to need is a water filter. It's called the short handle water filter. And it looks like this. Make sure you don't get the tall handle. These retail for about 14 bucks. I'll put a I'll put a link in the show notes of uh, the description and also where you can buy it off of Amazon. So when you first get these water filters, most uh, Keurigs do not come with a water filter. You have to buy these extra. If your water has a bad chlorine smell to it, this will help eliminate some of the smell. And first I'm going to show you how to um, set up the water filter before we install it in the handle. Okay, so you can buy extra water filters. They come in a box, they come in a package of two. You're supposed to replace them every two months. So that this will last four months. They come individually wrapped. Now there is a little bit of prep work before you install it in your Keurig. You're gonna wanna open it up. Now these are carbon filters and that's filled with carbon. So you wanna let it soak, it says for five minutes. And your water's gonna turn like a um, kind of like a gray but you can see there's even some little bitty particles floating around in there but my water is definitely turning a, a light gray that's that carbon dust and there's even little bitty particles I wasn't expecting all the little bitty particles but there's some of that carbon dust coming out but let it soak for five minutes after we let it soak for five minutes, then we're gonna rinse it under the water for a minute. Okay, so it's been five minutes. You can see why it's important to let this soak for five minutes. There's quite a bit of carbon dust that's gonna come off the filter. Now I'm gonna go rinse it under the water. So now we're ready to install it in the Keurig holder. You're gonna, there's, a, there's a flat part here. The flat part's going to go down towards that way and there's a curved part. So the curved part kind of goes into where the handle is, then it's going to sit flush. Then you're going to just line up these and they should snap. That's how you install, install the, the water filter in the holder. So it says these water filters help remove water impurities and enhance beverage taste. I know one of the things they do is if you're, if you can smell chlorine in your water really bad, um, these do help remove chlorine in your water. Okay, so now that we've got the water filter prepped, ready to go, I'm gonna show you, it goes on the back here, inside the water reservoir. Now you can do this with it full or empty. I'm just gonna have it empty, but that's the intake for the Keurig machine. And we're gonna snap this right on top of it. So, there and then when I lift up it won't lift up but I can pop it off if I need to don't just set it in there it will float away and it won't do its job it has to be on there and snapped and then our lid it's a short handle so our lids gonna be able to close just fine there you go again just a quick video on how to install a water filter on the Keurig K Duo Express thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe